Well, Abdul Hali Osman is the CEO of Hormund Salam Foundation and the Secretary General of the Somali Business and Investment Council. He joins me now here on set. Uh, good to have you on the show. Um, you know, I was taking a look at a coronavirus-related video uh, in Somalia before I came on the show. I was actually quite shocked with how some of the people are actually dealing with this. There's a lack of people wearing masks. I know that you were just wearing a mask before you came on set, so you just took it off for this. Uh, people rarely social distancing. What is the, uh, the approach to the coronavirus in Somalia? Um, thank you very much for having me on this program. Um, in Somalia, as you may be uh, aware, um, has been in a, a long um, time conflict, over three decades in conflict. Um, throughout this conflict time, the health infrastructure in Somalia have um, actually collapsed. So um, the authorities in Somalia, they have been trying for the last few years to to build the healthy infrastructure in Somalia um, um, with help of the Somali private sector and other international um, uh, uh, um, donors. So the coronavirus first wave in Somalia was relatively very, um, 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 uh, actually, of some relief um, compared to the second wave. Um, when the first wave started the coronavirus in Somalia, the people, they actually were applying the social distancing and, um, and wearing masks. But, um, Few um, uh, months throughout 2020, uh, actually the, the level of the infection in coronavirus in Somalia has gone down, and the people they were uh, relatively relaxed. And throughout this relaxation um, time, the second wave has started very quickly. Um, as a business leader, tell me what the private sector can do in terms of uh, government institutions stepping up their efforts to combat not only the spread, but also uh, with this vaccination drive that's about to start? Um, actually, um, the Somali private sector, um, um, uh, uh, they are, uh, um, according to the World Bank report, the 97% of the Somali economy depends on the private sector. And the private sector, they actually um, um, providing a, 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 a very um, necessary services for the Somali people. Um, as the in its public institutions are um, uh, a, a capacity very limited. So, we are not only um, actually supporting in the health um, um, sector, but also the other sectors as well, including education, um, job creation, um, employability skills, and, and humanitarian issues. So, for example, uh, I'm the head of the Hormuz Foundation, um, um, with, um, Hormuz Salam Foundation, owned by Hormuz Telecom and Salam Somali Park. Um, we actually uh, 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 supported the Somali government and the Somali people throughout um, the uh, uh, coronavirus um, 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 time uh, since the beginning in 2020. For example, we have replaced it in our ringtone system in the um, telephone, a public health awareness about the coronavirus, which actually made possible that um, the um, health awareness gone through to all, all individuals. I want to ask you before we go, um, I have about 30 seconds left in the interview. Um, talk to us about the collaboration with the, with the Turkish state, because I know that Turkey has not only military bases, but also the Turkish Red Crescent has a big presence in Somalia. Uh, is there any collaboration with the government or private sector in terms of uh, helping the situation there? Um, actually, at the moment, um, uh, the, the Turkish help in Somalia for the last, last few years and they built the biggest hospital in Mogadishu. But at the moment, um, uh, when it comes to dealing with the coronavirus, the Somali government and the Somali private sector are addressing um, um, the challenges. We, as a, a company, um, actually have been very busy for the last few um, um, weeks um, providing and finding out um, oxygen, uh, which is the uh, uh, biggest challenge in Somalia at the moment. Also, we were actually um, working to mobilize the Somali public to raise funds for, um, for the health institutions in Somalia. Okay. Abdullahi Osman, thank you very much for joining here on Saturday. You appreciate it, and good luck with everything. Thank you very much. You're welcome.